For this lesson, I'd like to show you a way that you can compose or even end your song with a group of chords. And this is your C chord, A flat, B flat, and back to the C. The C chord, down to A flat, your F flat, C and E, and then B flat, and back to the C. Let me show you how you make a song out of this. First, you can use your left hand to play the bass notes with the C chord, and your right hand can make up a tune. Okay, see how I'm going to F flat? Okay, now this sounds very simple, okay, but you have so much room you can expand. Based on this concept, you can change and make, work out a melody uh, just going from C to F flat to B flat and then back to C. Mm -hmm. You see how I'm doing it? I sometimes hold the first chord for longer measure and then I'm going to F flat and then B flat, and then back to the C. The thing with my right hand is, uh, whenever I'm playing the different chords, my right hand melody notes also need to change based on the chords I'm playing. If I'm playing an A flat, my right hand also need to play some kind of notes that belongs to the A flat. A flat chords or the A flat scale. In this case, it's A flat C and E. So I'm using either F flat C and E, or you can add in notes, okay? And then go to B flat. Okay? This is a very easy way to compose. Or you can also use the same principle and end the song. Let's say you have a song in 3-4. I finish it with the C chord and then I quickly come down to the A flat. Play my A flat and then my B flat chord and then I finish it with a C. A nice way to complement your ending. Beautifully done and people would not expect that kind of beautiful ending. But you can use it on any songs. Alright, I hope you like this tutorial and try it out making a song using this chord progression or end the song with this chord progression.